Hey everybody, I'm Stelios. I'm Lila. And we are back and we are continuing our short series on why people who are already established in the SCA leave. And in our last video, Lila talked about some of her experiences and what pushed her away from playing as much as she used to. And in this one, well, I'm going to give you a little bit of information as to why I don't. Yeah, let's talk about some of the reasons why you don't play so much anymore, Stelios. What would you put as the big reason? Social drama. Yeah. Social drama and social politics. That's never been something you had high tolerance for. Yeah, I don't. I don't really jive with bullshit. And <laughs> that's what that's what a lot of it is. A lot of it is bullshit, and because everybody's journey is different. That means everybody's bullshit is going to be different. My bullshit came in the form of burnout. Fighter burnout especially. Yeah, and I can do a whole nother video on fighter burnout and hopefully ways to avoid it yeah. and get over it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about what caused me to burn out. Okay, I mean... When would you say it really? You really started to feel the burn. <laughs> the burnout. The burnout. <laughs> Birdie would have won. Damn it! Oh, Should have cut a different video. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I really started to feel the burnout. Uh, I'm gonna say, God, around twenty was it about twenty. Fifteen? Mm, was that about the time we moved into the townhouse? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be twenty fifteen. Yeah, around roughish. Yeah, because I I've taken close to two close to two years off, you know, and I really started to feel burnt out around twenty fifteen, and I've been playing consistently and hard. Yeah. Since 2011. I'd say the, the good year and a half, maybe two years leading up to it, you were really hitting the event circuit hard. Yeah, hit, hitting it super hard. I was chasing that accolade. And chasing that accolade and, <clears throat> excuse me, and road showing so hard, it led to a burnout emotionally physically, financially, and there were just a whole bunch of factors, which I'll probably cover at a later time, okay. that led into this, but I just decided that it, it wasn't worth it to me anymore, yeah. and I only really joined the SCA to fight in the first place. I mean, if I'm not fighting, why am I even there? That's how I feel about it anyway. Right. But that's what caused the burnout. Okay. Well... What other things would you consider reasons why you don't really want to play anymore or issues that came up while you were playing that were a big deal to you? Uh, I really didn't like how you had people who were trying to steer my persona in, you know, a direction that was more to their liking. Oh, gosh, yeah. We talked about that last one done with me as well. But yeah. Because, I imagine it was worse for you. Yeah, because when I switched from Moorish to, you know, Greek, you know, my knight at the time said, I liked you better when you were a Moor. And I said, well, that's just too damn bad. That That's kind of harsh. Well, you know, here's the thing. Nobody's going to tell me what the fuck to do. I get that, and that's honestly one of the things I've always been confused about with with a lot of the Squire stuff, is the hazing. I get that there's actually a lot of young dudes that, regardless of which hobby they're in, would look for an authority figure to, to help them get their life together and get focused and pursue a goal. But then I see a lot of grown-ass guys like you and it's, you don't need a daddy. You don't need someone lording over you and telling you how to eat, how to exercise, who you're allowed to see, what you're supposed to dress like and do. And that's ridiculous to me. Like, you don't need someone telling you 
manners and dress and stuff. No. I, I have never really been able to wrap my head around it. And then you see guys that are still wearing squires belts after 10, 20, 30 years. Well, there's a multitude of reasons for that. One of them might be they, they might... They just might not fight that good. Might not be night material. And I get that. It's not like this is a video game and you can just keep grinding away until you level up. There's... Right. But at the same time, I'm not under the impression that there's a checklist of requirements kept that people, you know, they, they get checked off and then they get voted on. It's, it's a meritocracy. People in the Knights Council will vote against you because they just don't fucking like you. They don't like your politics. They don't like your face. They don't like your attitude about things. Or They don't like who your knight is. They don't like your knight is. They don't like your opinions on things that have nothing to do with SCA, you know, in the wider world. And we're exposed to that with each other these days with more and more social media. Oh, yeah. So you could post something on your personal Facebook about a political issue and a couple dudes you know who are knights see it and then decide they don't want you on the Knights Council for this arbitrary reason. That's kind of bullshit. You know, I don't know how accurate that statement is. I don't either. I'm just kind of postulating out there. But I knew, I do know that I can relate it to my personal experiences that, you know, you got people who try to... If you're a squire, lord that accolade over you, like dangle it over you like a cookie in order to make you do stuff. Um, and I ain't with that shit. Know. You know, I, I've had people tell me, oh, well, if you don't do X thing, I'm going to tell you at night. And I've told them, tell him, he ain't my daddy. <laughs> They're going to go tattle on like, you. Like, fucking tell him. And that was just one of many things that contributed to my overall burnout. There was just too much financial, physical, and emotional toil for me to continue to give a shit about it. And, you know, there are people who, to them, this is a lifestyle. Yeah. But to me, this is a hobby. This is a game. Yeah, so, I, I get it. So I could pick it up and put it down at will. Mm -hmm. And I put it down for a year and a half now, with the exception of coming out to Autumn War to do hood rat shit with the Myrmidons. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. That's why I haven't been around. Yeah. And I know that these last two videos have been a lot of, a lot of, I guess you would, a lot of Debbie Downer stuff, you know? Like, I don't want to call it complaining because we're doing our best to be honest about some issues that don't get talked about or other people may have trouble expressing themselves. But it has been a lot of problem dragging out of the closet stuff. We have been unpacking a lot of things, and we are going to continue to unpack yeah. things. But part of unpacking things is organizing it and figuring out the best place to put it. Mm -hmm. So stick around, because in our next video, we are going to be talking about these issues and offering personal ideas for solutions to these issues because we're not just about spreading shit on the floor nope. we're about trying to clean up the mess too we, we are looking for solution oriented uh ways to solve some of these and if anyone else has ideas we want to hear what you have to say about that too suggestions about what you think could help make the society work better run better uh, make it more inviting for people, all that good stuff. So that being said, we hope to see you in our next podcast. We appreciate your support thus far. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, scroll down and mash on the like button, the share button, the subscribe button. Leave a comment, send us a message. We'd love to hear from you.